I'm Diane Kometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin soup. This is a really easy recipe, perfect for a weeknight, but so delicious, you will have no problem serving this on a holiday. Your friends and your relatives are going to be really impressed. So let me show you what you need, and you can get started. You're going to need some chicken broth, some pumpkin, this is canned pumpkin, not the pie, just the packed pumpkin, garlic, onion, maple syrup, heavy cream, nutmeg, cornstarch, hot sauce, this is optional, salt, and white pepper. You also need some olive oil. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my onion and garlic and I'm gonna put that in the food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, just take it and chop it up really super fine. Uh, this is a really quick cooking recipe, so um, part of the uh, reason that it cooks so fast is because the vegetables, actually the onion and the garlic, are cut up so small. So I'm just gonna turn this on and chop this until it's really nice and fine. Okay, that looks good. And now what I'm, I'm just gonna take this and go over to the stove and we'll get everything started. I'm adding oil to a pot that I've heated over medium heat. And now I'm gonna take my onion and garlic and I'm putting that in. I'm just gonna saute this for about five minutes or so until the onion gets nice and soft. Well, this has been about five minutes and now what I'm gonna do is add in my chicken broth. And this comes together very quickly. So I'm gonna add the chicken broth and the cornstarch in. And we're just gonna give this a whisk around just to combine the cornstarch. And that's your thickening agent here. And now we're gonna put in the heavy cream. So it's important that you put the heavy cream in right now because you don't wanna wait until that broth gets hot and then put the cream in, cause that'll curdle. And we're just gonna give this a whisk around to combine it. Just gonna add the pumpkin in now. And that looks good. And I'm just gonna give this a stir around and we're gonna put the rest of our ingredients in now as well. And believe it or not, we're like really close to being done. This comes together so fast and you definitely can make this on a weeknight because I've done it already. Now here comes the rest of the ingredients. The maple syrup just adds a little bit of sweetness and it's just enough where it's not too sweet at all. I mean, it's just like in the background. And then the hot sauce. Now, this be very careful with. I am measuring this. Usually I just squirt things in, but this is one thing I will measure because you don't want it to be too hot, uh, especially if you're serving it during a holiday. Now I'm gonna add a little dash of white pepper and then some grates of nutmeg. So fresh nutmeg, I find works best. I like the flavor of it. And also add salt to taste too. So I'm just gonna give this a whisk around. Okay, the soup has come to a boil now and I stirred it uh, a few times as it was heating up. And now I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium low and I'm gonna let this cook for about five to seven minutes and it's going to get nice and thick and I'll show you what that looks like and then there's one more step before we eat. All right this has been I said five to seven I meant seven to ten sorry about that and uh, do stir it uh, as you go along you don't want it to stick even if you have a non-stick pot so it's thickened up and I'll show you it coats the back of the spoon all right I'm just going to give it a little taste needs just a little bit more salt and this is all to your liking just putting a little bit more in I'm gonna whisk that through and uh, 
it tastes beautiful already, very smooth. The sweet and the hot come together nicely. Now, interesting what we're gonna do is I have an immersion blender here. And if you don't have an immersion blender, then uh, just use a regular blender. And you would, you know, obviously have to take it off the heat with a regular blender. Uh, and just pour it in, and this is optional. If you wanna just, um, you know, leave the little bits of onion and garlic in there, you can, but I like it to come out silky smooth, especially if you're gonna serve this during a holiday. This is a nice option for you. So here we go. I'm gonna use my new power tool. And just put that in there first. I'm gonna put this on. And that. Woo! Just combining everything and it's taken those little bits of onion and garlic and it's pulverizing them. <laughs> okay, that should be good. And now I'm gonna show you how I like to serve it up. Right, so it's done and you see how fast that was? I'm telling you, less than 30 minutes. I've made this during the week, no problem, just real quick. So you could do it, you know, if you have a little uh, Halloween party coming up, or better yet, I would, you know, definitely try making this for the holiday. So here's what I like to do at the end. All right, so I have my fresh croutons here. Just have a few, just put those on there. Looks nice and pretty. And this is, you know, what I'm going to make for part of my Thanksgiving meal. I'm just put a few grates of fresh nutmeg on there. And then I'm going to give it a little taste. How to get one of those croutons. Mm. I love croutons in my soup. <laughs> I like getting that little crunch in there. But other than that, silky smooth. Um, if you don't have um, an immersion blender or you don't even have a blender, you could also um, strain this if you wanted to. Um, or you could leave little bits in there, it's not bad. But absolutely delicious, came together in less than 30 minutes, so you can do this and you can put this on your table for Thanksgiving, like no problem. I have to go back in for more. Um, the recipe, the full recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com and as usual, I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.